Okay. Number three is asking write 5.25 as a fraction. So a bit of pre-algebra here, switching from fractions to or decimals to fractions or percentages to fractions that are kind of the same topic here. So I want 5.25 as a fraction. So when we look at this number here, we, we can think of this as, we could, I, I could think of this algebraically, like what they did here, but I, I, use, I like to think of this more logically than algebraically, just because I find that students in pre-algebra are, algebra is also a new concept for pre-algebra, obviously. So um, I like to kind of use logic to kind of figure this out before we kind of use algebra here. So what, what do I mean by that? Well, in, in this number, you can see I have two parts to this number, right? So I have this five here, which is our whole, the whole part. So this here is the, is a whole number, right? This five here is the whole number. And this 0.25 here, it would be the decimal part, right? The decimal part of the number. Whatever comes on the left of the decimal is a whole number. Whatever comes to the right of the decimal is obviously the decimal part, right? So I'm gonna say decimal part here. So therefore, when we switch this to a fraction, I will have a whole part and also a fraction part, right? So I'm expecting here, I'm outputting a whole number here and also a fraction part, right? A fraction part. So if my whole number here is five, obviously my whole number for a fraction would also be five. And then suddenly I have a fraction part. So I'm gonna write this, uh, write this uh, kind of fraction here. And what is my fraction is the, uh, is the kind of answer here. What, or what the question here, what is the fraction? So as you can see, we have two and five here. We have 0.25 here. So if I've worked to convert 0.25 into a decimal form or to a fraction form, sorry, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna look at how many places, how, how many digits are in our decimal here. So if you see decimal, if you uh, th remember from decimals, um, it goes by tens, right? So this, this, this here, this here is the 10th digit tens digit and this here is the hundreds digit so in this case because we have two digits we are the hundreds digit right so for the hundredth hundredth place then i can say the denominator of this fraction would be indeed a hundred and then my numerator would simply just be whatever number i have um, as the decimal part so this would be 25. so this here is our mixed fraction right so this here is a mixed fraction And then finally, if I want to convert this guy into a improper fraction, or just to just to convert this guy into a uh, into a uh, just just only uh, just only having um, uh, one one fraction, what I can do is I can take I'm going to use this formula to create a in improper fraction. And how I would do that, I would, say I would take the whole whole number here, I would multiply it by the denominator. So five times five, five, five times 100 here, five multiplied by 100, and then, and then I'm gonna add the numerator here. So five times 100 is 500, plus 25 here is 525. So my improper fraction will have a numerator of 525 divided by the denominator remains the same, so 100 here. So 525 would be my improper fraction here. And what I can do now is I can actually reduce this to lowest terms, right? So reduce to lowest terms. This could be our, our, our answer here, but ideally we, will, we like to see that our fraction is always the lowest terms. So if I look, if I look at these two numbers, I am looking for a common denominator here, right? In this case, I see that 20, uh, 525 and 100 here is divisible by 25, right? 25 times four here would give me 100. So this would be four because I can divide this by 25. I can divide also this side, this side by 25. And I would get, um, in this case here, I would get, I believe 525 divided by is 24. Or 21, sorry. So this would be 21 over 24. And this here is our correct answer. So 21 over 24 is uh, the fraction for 5.25 as, uh, as a fraction here. And again, the solution here is correct. 21 over 24 is the correct answer. What they did here was they 
uh, they let x be 5.25, so they used algebra to solve for this, and then we multiplied both sides by 100 to get rid of the decimal, and then they created the fraction here. So again, it depends on which way you like. Um, I usually teach this part before I teach the algebraic part, just because this part seems to be a little bit easier to kind of follow along because it's more intuitive. But again, this is more, um, if you're comfortable with algebra, you definitely do this way here. So solution here is correct. Good analysis.